Welcome to Virtual Table's YouTube channel, and today we are making potato pave with a twist. We're gonna see how a beginner makes it versus how a professional makes it. My name is Robbie. I'm Virtual Table's video editor, and I will be the beginner while Chef Christine is the pro. Today, I'm going to be attempting to recreate her potato pave, and I've never made it before, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so first things first, we're gonna get our cream mixture made. I'm gonna melt the butter. So now that it's fully melted, we're ready to add on our two cups heavy cream. So I'm just pour it right in. I'm gonna continue giving it a stir, turn the heat up a bit. The mandolin. So here I have three one pound potatoes, which should be in proportion with the cream mixture that we just made. Now I'm kind of scared to use the mandolin, but we're gonna have to face our fears today. And we're gonna have to use it. One. Let's try it out. On to potato number two. Are we full? Oh. Tossing the last ones in. Take a look at that. That's a lot of slices. All right, I drained all the potatoes. Here we have our bread pan and we're gonna line it up with some parchment paper. Take that, cut towards the corner right there to cut this, cut it this way. Put this thing in here, there, there, and there. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna take a, my second bread pan, give it a gentle squeeze to flatten it, just like that, flatten it again. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna leave it in here for two hours. So in the meantime, it's time to clean the kitchen. Okay, it's cooled down enough so I can touch it. Oh! Oh my goodness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit overnight. I'm gonna wrap it back up. I hope what I'm doing is right. <laughs> we're gonna put this, oh, that's hot. We're gonna put this in the fridge though. Here we go. Turn that off. Turn that off. It's a new day. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna pull it out. I'll try to pull it out. Oh. Now before I start slicing that brick, I wanted to get this pan going, put some baking crumbles on it, so that we have something to serve over the pave later on. Maybe just a, a handful. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna trim the edges off. Oh man. That's a lot of layers. We're gonna slice it this way. One, two,
looks good. I feel like I should turn on the vent, but I fear that it might be too loud for the microphone. Here goes nothing. After some frying, and the salt. add some greens into our diet I think this will definitely do a lot of hard work went into this first time making this see how it tastes pretty soft on the inside but that tastes good <laughs> oh my gosh it's breaking apart slowly there you go. Firmly grasp it. There you go. That's a good looking piece. <laughs> That's a bad looking piece. A lot of layers coming off, but it's not so bad. <laughs> it could be better. <laughs> as messy as it- Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Considering how much it fell apart. That is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below who you think did better. Or comment down below how you think I did making this for the first time. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.